So when I started the Alpha M YouTube channel, Alpha wasn't like a bad word. It wasn't polarizing. It just was some word that I chose because it represented masculinity. And I had, actually, no, not even masculinity, men. It represented men. And when I started my image consulting company, it was Alpha M Image Consulting. Instead of saying Alpha Male, I've told that story a hundred times. And, you know, early on when I started posting videos, the messaging was very clear and straightforward. You know, my job was simple. My goal has always been to help people feel better about themselves. It doesn't matter if you're green, white, gay, straight, trans, like it doesn't matter. I don't give a shit who you are or what you are. If I can help you in any way, I did my job. Because from the age of like three, I had really low self-esteem and, you know, it sucked. <clears throat> Sorry. And, uh, and as I got older and I started to develop my confidence, I figured if I could help anybody just feel better about themselves, like that would be awesome. That was it. That was my goal. And yesterday I was working out and, um, a kid came up to me and, um, you know, said, Hey, you look familiar. And I'm like, Oh, I come here all the time. And he's like, you make videos, don't you? And I go, yeah. And he's like, well, I used to watch you. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you so much. And uh, he said, I was going through a really dark time and uh, you helped me. And, uh, you know, and that kind of, I guess, got me going down a little bit of a rabbit hole, you know, feeling good. Like, okay, you know, obviously some of the things that I've set out to do, I've done. But it brings me to kind of analyzing where I am today a little bit. And um, I don't know where I fit. And that's, it's, it's, it's weird to say that, but I feel like, I feel like I'm not a polarizing person, right? I don't feel like I am. I know that some of my thumbnails and titles are a little bit, a little bit polarizing, but you know, I feel like if you actually get past that, you know, surface level and dig a little bit deeper, hopefully you guys know that, you know, my intentions are good and I always try to be positive. I always try to uplift you guys whenever possible, but sometimes I need uplifting, you know, because you know, I'm human and I'm struggling just like the rest of you and, and life is hard. That's one thing that I've come to realize. It doesn't matter how many followers you have. It doesn't matter, you know, how much money you have. Life is hard. In today's world of everything is so fucking polarized, I don't know where I fit anymore. And I think that's one of the things that over the past few years I've been struggling a little bit with in terms of just like, where do I fit? in terms of the internet, I just don't, I don't know, you know, because when you look at people that are like ultra polarizing, you know, that's what's popular, right? It's either, you know, super over here, super over there, when the truth is that me, my views, I'm pretty much like in the middle, leaning a little, little over here, but I'm, I'm in the middle. And I feel like that's probably where the majority of us, you know, kind of reside. We're not ultra extreme and extreme anything, in my opinion, is probably not that good. Whether or not it's diet, it's, your viewpoint, it's politics, it's like if you're like crazy, like, like rigid and structured and extreme, I feel like you're gonna miss out on a lot of amazing things and a lot of amazing people because we have become so intolerant of people that are different than us or say something that we don't like and then you've got the cancel culture and so if you say something that pisses people off or offends somebody, my God, you're gonna try and end their career. You're gonna try to like literally, like, like really, really. When I started my channel, it was simple. I just wanted to give dudes advice on how to feel great about themselves through style, through grooming, through some advice and experience that I've had in my life. Right? And at the time, I was doing some crazy things, right? Talking about manscaping, talking about, you know, powdering your balls and what to do with your butt hair and how to tie a Windsor knot. Like, like, like I was doing things that back then were crazy and just like, whoa, what are you doing? Oh my God, right? But now, it's like nothing. It's gotten so insane, but we have become so fucking polarized, right? It's either good or it's bad, right? The manosphere, my God. That is a whole crazy world in and of itself. And then the other day I get a text message from my friend Jordan Harbinger, right? And he's like, yo, you were just featured or you were talked about in a podcast about toxic masculinity. I'm like, wait, wait, what? And he sends me this picture, right? Look who I'm in there with. I'm in there with the dude from Fresh and Fit Podcast. I'm in there with Kevin Samuels. I'm in there with, with Andrew Tate. I'm in there with Ty Lopez and, and Jordan Peterson. How, how do I fit? How does my message fit with theirs? I just don't. I don't even know, 
you know? And then I was like, oh, it's because of the name Alpha, right? People just don't dig a little bit deeper and whatever. And so I've been kind of at a crossroads. I've been sort of a little bit, I've been having an identity crisis in terms of the internet. It's like, where do I go? Where do I fit? I've got a name that fits me and puts me over here, right? On total like extreme this way, but I'm more like in the middle. Where do I fit? Bottom line, this channel was never intended to take a stand one way or the other. It was basically just to uplift people and say, you know what? You can be awesome. You can be amazing. It doesn't matter if you're short. It doesn't matter if you're tall, gay, straight, ear, bite, sell. It doesn't matter. I don't care. You are incredible and you're amazing, period, right? That's it. That is the goal. That is the, that is the whole Alpha M YouTube channel rolled up into one little nugget of this is what we're about. It's to help people feel amazing about themselves. That's it. And when I got those emails the other day talking about how you've changed, and yeah, I've changed. We've all changed. We live in a really fucked up weird time. Things are different. Things are very different. And for me, I am, I'm as lost a lot of days as most of you. I don't know where I stand. I don't know where I fit. I know that I just want to basically have a happy life. I want to take care of and be around the friends and the people that I love. And I want to just basically be cool. Like, that's it. <laughs> I want to feel good about myself. I want to feel like I did something amazing. I want to feel like I brought value not only to the world, but myself. And that's it. Like, is that that much to ask? And apparently it is. I never set out to offend anybody. I never set out to piss anybody off. I promise you that. I set out to help as many dudes feel incredible about themselves as possible. Did I succeed? I don't know. I feel today like I'm, I'm in a weird place. I feel like I still am trying to help people, but I don't know if the type of help that I'm able and capable of giving is what people want or what people need. I feel like people are seeking and gravitating towards these more extreme views, these more extreme statements, these more extreme people. And so this brings me to the question, why, why, what is it? Is it because society has been telling us that we're bad, that we're toxic, that we're just innately like horrible people because we're male and we have balls and a, and a big L, right? Is that why? I don't know. Or is it because people are confused and people just need some direction? Because in today's world, it has gotten so crazy. It's gotten so confusing, right? Where do you sit? You feel like you need to align with somebody. Everybody is trying to put everybody into a nice little neat box. When the truth is that there is no box. There's no neat little package that you can put most people right? You're going to be different. I'm going to be different. It's these differences that make us beautiful. It's these differences that make us unique. And for you to get so bent out of shape, worried about and upset because somebody's different, who cares where somebody sticks their dick? As long as it's not in your face, who cares, right? I'm just trying to do the best job I can. And I assume you are too, but where do you fit? Where do I fit? Where do we fit in a world that's gotten so extreme and so polarizing? For me, I'm in the middle. I'm gonna think about all of the issues. I'm gonna choose to do the best job I can. I'm going to choose to not follow the herd just because the herd is going in one direction. I am choosing to be an individual. I am choosing to be the best person I can possibly be. Sometimes, you know what? I'm gonna fuck it up and so are you. And guess what? It's okay. So anyway, guys, I've just been thinking a little bit. It's been troubling me. And when I see all the craziness that's out there and all of the people that are so polarized and polarizing, it just makes me, it makes me scared and it makes me concerned. It makes me concerned that so many people are buying into this mindset. It makes me concerned that there are a lot of you out there that are lost, that are needing direction from positive male role models. And I feel like a lot of these people that are getting a large following are not necessarily the positive male role models that we need in order to move our society in a more positive direction. I feel like by having some of these people that are super popular, you know, have such a large following, it's making the divide even bigger and greater, and it's causing us even more trouble, and I don't know how we fix that. But for me, the way that I'm gonna try and do that is by providing solid content that is always gonna be honest, I'm gonna always try to maintain integrity, and I am never gonna blow smoke up your ass. And I hope, I pray, that some of you can hopefully find your confidence, and if I can be a little part of that, that's the most amazing gift and compliment I could ever get. Thank you for everything, I love you. Be good to yourself, be a good person, be honorable, and please always have integrity.